Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody has 33 pages of this electrical wiring diagram to put on one page. So first thing you need to do is, I'm gonna change your duplicate distance to zero, zero. Doesn't really matter in this case. And we're working in millimeters and this page is, you know, I don't have a clue how big it is. But he wants to also to put a cut line around every one of them. So with this selected, just hold down the shift key. Well, we need to change your cut line to graphic, because down here he's got points. I want to go hairline, and then I'm going to do it. I don't know if he's using RGB or CMYK, but I'm going to go RGB, and I'm going to pick red. That signifies a hairline. And there's 33 pages of this, and it's kind of, slows down my laptop quite a bit. So I'm gonna give this a shot and if I can't get it done. So, and then I'm gonna go red. <clears throat> See, it's slowing down my laptop. Anyway, so I'm gonna say, okay. Then I'm gonna take this item and I'm gonna hold down the shift key. I'm gonna double click the rectangle tool. That put a hairline on that line. Now, if you need it bigger, uh, there's a way to do that too. But here's the problem. He wants to put all 33 pages on one page. So what you could do is move this off the page because number two is off the page over or on the page over here, but in page three, it's off the page. Four page, page the four, fourth page is in the same spot. Five is back where number three was. So you need to, I'm only going to do like six pages. So you need all these pages off your where they were before. Now, if you will go to Windows, Dockers, and Objects or Object Manager, depending on which one you have, and go right here to this gear and unselect Keep Desktop, layer, desktop Objects on Layer. So now when we go back to page one, all those other ones should be on there. We'll probably have to go to page four to get them all or page six. So we have all these now within viewing distance. So we got seven of them. So here's the first page. So you'd have to do all the pages like that. But let's set our, let's put it in the, in the top left corner. So with this selected, I'm going to go put it right there and I'm going to go, Zero, zero, and it's going to put it in the top left corner. Well, take it back. I didn't have his, I need to first of all probably group this together. His, his, his ruler wasn't set at zero, zero. So now it's set at zero, zero. So we're going to take this. And with this top corner locked, I'm going to go zero, zero. So that put it in the top left corner. Now, if he wants to move it out off the edge a little bit, he'll have to do that. But this thing is um, 384 millimeters. So I'm going to change my nudge factor to like 390. And I'm going to take the next one and I'm going to go, and I don't know if that's the next one. You'd want to put them in order. And I'm going to go zero, zero. And then I'm going to use the nudge factor to move it over. Now I'm going to hold down the shift key and double select the rectangle tool and you got a cut line. Now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put it at zero, zero. And then I'm going to move it over twice. Now you're only going to get to get on this particular sheet, which I don't understand how long this sheet is. But once you get them on there, you could space them out. And if they were <clears throat> grouped together, so let's take this one, hold down the shift, double click on the rectangle tool. Let's go ahead and group that. Control G, Control G. See, this really slows down my laptop. Come on, you can do it. So grab that, Control G. Now what you could do, you could change your nudge factor to like 
10 millimeters. And you could take this one and nudge it over quite a bit to get them all on one sheet. And then you probably want to move them down. And then we don't have to go even. So let's move them all down a little bit. And I'm just going to nudge them down. Then let's take these three and let's say that's, well, let's move this one a little bit more to the edge because you're not going to get, you know, three of them on there or four of them on there. Anyway, I need to go back one. Let's take all three of them and go to Windows, Dockers, Align and Distribute, and let's align them. Uh, this way, and it's going to put them on the page equal spacement. So then you're just going to have to do that for 33 more of these. It's going to take some time, but you can get them all on one page. Now you could actually, you know, instead of going to zero, zero, let's, let's play a little game right here. Let's go. So that, that is at negative uh, three or 265. It would almost be easier to just set everything at zero, zero. And then, so let's go zero, zero. And then hit P or zero. No, don't hit P. I didn't mean to do that. And then hit the downward arrow. You know, you, you could set it once you figure out what it is, but then you're going to have to keep changing back and forth between the two. But just don't forget how to, uh, you know, just take that rectangle tool and hold down the shift key and hold it down and then double click your rectangle tool. Now, if we want to cut that out a little bit bigger, that's going to be the last thing picked. So we're going to go to object, excuse me, go to effects and contour. And let's say we want two millimeters to the outside. And there you have a two millimeter line bigger than your item. Go up to object and break the contour apart and then grab that interior contour. So now you have a contour that's gonna cut around that item. Placement is gonna be a little bit, uh, you know, if, they, if you're gonna cut them out, they don't have to be exactly in the same spot. You know, as long as you can get all of them on there, you know, you could move them around manually and, and just be close. You know, you could just take this one and as long as you've got them all, you know, since you're going to cut them out, as long as you've got them on that page. But I would, I would maybe contour them first and do all of them. And I'm, I'm truly hoping that's what he was asking. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.